online survey this morning. It is such a privilege to have you this morning. Um, thank you for taking this time to receive another word of God and um, open up yourselves to to new things that God wants to do in your life. And we've got an awesome word that we want to minister this morning. And the topic is um, Woman of Wisdom. And we are still in Women's Month. So um, we celebrate you, with you, this month. And August month is the eighth month of, of the year. We are in the eighth month of the year. And this number eight, it is such a significant number. And it speaks of new beginnings. It speaks of new order new a new creation and i know god is creating new stuff in our lives and um he is just doing a new thing in the season i can feel it and this is so powerful because he says in in isaiah 43 verse verse 19 the word says behold i am doing a new thing now it shall spring forth shall you not know and that is so powerful that is so powerful and i believe as we are moving into the spring season next month we will move into spring and the the the, the vision that i had this morning is all about the blooming and um, how god's people will blossom because he will do a new thing in your lives and i know this is it, it seems overwhelming it seems like nothing is happening but god says this is the season we've prophesied over it we have preached change in this in this season and i know he is doing a new thing in the season and new things will spring forth in in the new season be expectant for what is to come just be expectant and open yourselves for what god wants to do in your life Yes, and just connect with him and and spend time in his presence and he will reveal to you the beauty of what he has in store for each and every one of us. Amen. Hallelujah. So last week, um, our sister Louise Young, she ministered on um, a word, a proverb. 31 purpose and that was such a powerful word that she was ministered and uh, and it was all about the Proverbs 31 woman and her characteristics and she so well explained the whole passage and if you haven't heard the message haven't um, um, watched the on any platform you're welcome to go to our facebook page or our youtube channel then you will get the message there and also next week we will be blessing you with another powerful word on the same theme um, um more precious than jewel i don't know about you i just want to speak a little about this woman so i don't know about you but every time we read this passage and we read of this perfect you can say perfect woman you 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 feel like you what how can you measure up to her standards and and she's so amazing she's so strong she's powerful she's a woman of dignity she's righteous and the fruit of the spirit is so evident in her life and nothing can compare to her the bible says and she sits an example she knows who she is she knows whose she is and she knows what she stands for she is precious and she is so unique that is who she is and if we're looking at this proverbs 31 woman isn't it so that we all want to have the characteristics and we all want to be like this woman but in the other hand there are some that when they read the passage, they feel um some more easily feel intimidated by this passage because who does these things that she, that she do in in the day and, 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 and age who does it and you ask yourself this question because 
in our lives today we as women don't live the lives that the woman lived in the olden days and we didn't we don't do what they done in the olden days because they we have so much other stuff that we are doing in 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 this time and day and age and then we ask ourselves how can we measure up to this woman but as um, Louise explained last week it is not about the homemaking it is not about what she did but it's the characteristics that we can apply to our, our life and what we become so and 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 the beautiful characteristics are how she embraced God's grace and let God's light shine through her and that is how God wants us to live so that his life can shine through us so that we will allow him to work in our lives so that he can shine through us amen so it's so I, once again i want to say it is not about what she did that you can do in excellence but rather what you can become so this passage was written not only for women but for men also to understand and to apply these things to their lives and then in all of this we become, we become wise so i'm just gonna read um one verse out of proverbs 31 and that is verse 10 because last week we we ran through the whole passage so verse 10 reads who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies the english standard version it reads she is far more precious than jewels father we just thank you lord for your written word father god that sustains us father god and that bring a revelation knowledge my lord father we ask that you will challenge us with your word lord father god and that you will encourage every man and woman listening today father encourage the hearts of your sons and daughters this we ask in the mighty name of jesus amen so I just want to repeat she is more precious than jewels and this speaks of rarity um, the virtuous woman compares to jewels is hard to find and especially women in women today even women women and men today it's rare that we find that character of the virtuous woman and I know when we have a, um, a precious stone, uh, we as women, we love jewelry, we love beautiful stuff. And we, if we have a precious stone, we value it. And this is how God values us because even more because we are more valuable than precious jewels, as the Bible says. So in all of this, in preparation for this message, I just went to have a look at um, the most rarest um, gemstones in 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 the world, and or the the, the rarest minerals in the world, and um, then I came to the specific gem, and it's called the pain night and this just stood out for me because this was considered a very rare. Um, a mineral and when this mineral was discovered by a, a mineralogist and a gem dealer Arthur Payne he must identified it with a ruby and later just much later it is they discovered that it was actually a valuable gemstone and when when they confirmed this then they named it after him, after him, Arthur Payne. And because of the rarity of this gem, of this of just him, it, it became extremely expensive. And what you also need to know about this uh, Payne knife is that 
the color of the painite, the raw mineral, it was like a, a pale brownish, dark, um, reddish, orange color. But when it was trimmed and shaped and cut and fashioned into into the into the into the gemstone it became this beauty um when it became cut and fashioned into the stone it became a beautiful gem and this gem just um connected me to the to the to the proverbs 31 woman you know that rarity of the painite not like the other gems and there is a few of them that were rare but this is the one who just stood out for me and this rarity just um com it, i just only compare to the virtuous woman you know and um because she allows god this woman allows god to shape her to trim her to cut and fashion her and transform her into the woman of wisdom he wants her to be that is what god wants to do for us in this day so um then you become this precious jewel and this woman of wisdom and this is god's this is god's desire for all of us to become that precious rare woman of wisdom and this brings me to the to to the, the message that god wants me to minister to you today and that is on wisdom that precious gift that God has given us, the precious gift of, of wisdom. But you know, the only way we can get it is if our heart desires it. If we pursue that, that is the only way that we will have it. So I'm just going to read a verse in Proverbs 3, verse 13 to 24, and then Proverbs 8 to 1 to 3. Proverbs 3, 13. Happy is the man that findeth wisdom, and the man that gathered, get, get understanding. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver, and the gain thereof than fine gold. She is more precious than rubies, and all the things thou can't desire are not to be Compete unto her. Length of days is in her, her right hand, and in her left hand riches and honor. Her ways are ways of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her, and happy is everyone that retaineth her. The Lord by wisdom hath founded the earth, by understanding hath he established, established the heavens, by his knowledge the depths are broken up, and the clouds drop down the dew. My son, which also means my daughter, let not them depart from thine eyes, keep sound wisdom and discretion, so shall they be life unto thy soul and grace to thy neck. Then shall thou walk in thy way safely and thy foot shall not stumble. When thou liest down, thou shalt not be afraid. Yea, thou shalt not lay, lie down and thy sleep shall be sweet. Proverbs 8 verse 1 to 3. Thought not wisdom cry and understanding put forth her voice she standeth in the top of high places by the way in the places of the paths she cries at the gates at the entry of the city at the coming in at doors amen so lady wisdom is crying out to you and me in the book of proverbs god's infinite wisdom 
as it's personified as a woman and this precious gift of wisdom we can only have if we pursue it if we desire it with all our heart because it is deep it's immeasurable it's priceless and it's rare and proverbs 4 verse 7 7 says wisdom is the principal thing therefore get wisdom and with all thy getting get understanding and the question is how do we get wisdom how do we become wise and the answer is in proverbs 9 verse 10 the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom that is where we begin by fearing god and this doesn't mean to be afraid of god um it is referential fear it is total reference to God it is um, a absolute reference it is respect and all for God's authority and and his power it's total submission to God giving him honor that is what the referential fear that we are talking about here and sadly some today don't fear the Lord and that is a problem why do many people don't fear the Lord and this is simply because they are allowing the enemy to have hold of him to taking hold and rule in their lives for this reason they become not like the virtuous woman or they don't become this wise person because in all of this they become distracted stuck trapped in this prison of the pains of this life and conform to this world system desire and follow what the world offers instead of desiring what god offers and that is the free gift of wisdom and they easily also become followers of of this trend of this world and we know there's a lot out there that the world offers it's consuming our time and um, that we don't take enough time to work on what God wants us to have in our lives to fulfill our lives and there's a lot of stuff there's social media Instagram Facebook fame riches beauty there's so a lot out there but there's nothing wrong with some of these things but if it if it consumes all of your time and steal your time with god then there's a problem then you are not acting out wise so but still with all of this even if people have this even if they look like the beauty outside still inside they feel lost they they have pain they are unhappy unfulfilled they are troublesome they have vexed souls and they seek for change but they are not crossing over so they cannot be changed if you don't cross over to do what god expects us to do and that is the only way how we can gain this wisdom and become this um precious jewel or this this woman of wisdom we don't we just need to remember um it's very vital because everything starts with a choice it is your choice you have to make the choice to cross over nobody can do it for you we can sit here all day we can speak about it we can preach about it we can we can um, read the word about it but if you're not going to take it and you're not going to apply it then it won't happen for you so i always say um this is my favorite thing that the three c's that i spoke about and it it says to make we need to make the choice to take the chance otherwise your life will never change if you desire what this woman had if you desire this character then you have to change many, many don't know who they even are or they know their identity they always try to be someone else look like somebody else 
Some people walk with masks. They are portraying that they are outside. They're portraying to be this confident or beauty or whatever it may be. But inside, there's still something lacking. And they become this product of what the world expects them to be. But still, they are faced with disappointment and guilt, shame, regrets, bitterness, resentment, dissatisfaction, and they carry burdens. Um, and they're building up all those walls, you know, uh, the unbelief, the fear, the doubt, this, or name it, all those walls you build up for yourself. And the only way to kick down the souls, break down the souls, or tear down the souls, this is the only way that you can get out of this prison of pain. So the important thing is to rise above the sculpture and pursue God and to respond to his calling. Because we are all called. We are all called. And when we do this, pursue him, respond to his calling, then we can become wise. Amen. So make the choice to apply the elements of wisdom in your life. You have to apply the elements. You can have, one can have the knowledge, the one can have the understanding, but you won't have the fullness. You have to apply all this to be fulfilled. And then you can be called a woman of wisdom or a man of wisdom so the elements are discipline and this is one of the hardest things for people to do is to discipline themselves because if we discipline we will we will do what God wants us to do and we will use our time wisely and we will think before we say stuff and do stuff and I can go on and on but we need to discipline ourselves and, um, and get understanding and be morally upright. And the most important element is, is holiness. Acknowledge God, worship Him, uh, pursue His knowledge and, 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 and the character of God. That is holiness. And God wants us to be holy. We ought to be holy. That is our purpose on earth, is to be holy. Not what the world tells us to be, but what God wants us to be. Amen. So Lady Wisdom is crying out to you and to me, and her character is fruitful. <laughs> so you will be fruitful in your lives if you take on her character. Amen. And she loves the Lord with all her heart and with all her mind and with all her soul she loves the Lord so I have a few scriptures that um, I want to give you and a few characteristics about this virtuous woman and if you have the time in this month in this month of August you have still time um, to if you take uh, a, a verse or two or three and just meditate on it and and just have a look at it and see how this can apply to your life and where you need to bring change about to to become the woman that God intended you to be so as I said she loves the Lord with all her heart and with all her soul and all her mind and you can read the verse in Matthew 22, verse 37. Number two, she is faithful and trustworthy. She's the bride of Christ. Proverbs 31, 11 and 12 and 1 Peter 3. She has a loving and gentle spirit. Remember, she's gentle, but she's not weak. There's a difference. She has inner strength. Proverbs 31, 26, 1 Peter 3, 1 Peter 3 verse 4. She serves others with kindness 
and she is charitable. Proverbs 31 verse 15, Proverbs 31 verse 20, and 1 Corinthians 13, 13. She is merciful. She gives comfort and encouragement. 2 Corinthians 1 verse 3 to 4. She cares for her body, her health physically, mentally and spiritually. Proverbs 31 17, 1 Corinthians 6 verse 19. She is a wise steward. She spends her money wisely. Proverbs 31 14, Proverbs 31 16 and 1 Timothy 6 verse 10. She is a she is a good manager of her of her home and creates a inviting atmosphere for her family and her guest. Proverbs thirty one verse twenty seven, Hebrews thirteen verse two, and one Peter four verse nine. She works willingly with her hands. Proverbs thirty one thirteen. Proverbs 31, 31 and Philippians 2, verse 4. She spends her time wisely. Proverbs 31, 27. Ephesians 5, verse 15 to 16. She is a woman of worth and beauty. She has inner beauty. Proverbs 31, verse 10, as we read that, Isaiah 61, verse 10. And I'm just going to read to you Isaiah 61, verse 10. It says, I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall be joyful in my God, for he had clothed me with the garments of salvation. He had covered me with the robe of righteousness as a bridegroom decketh himself with ornaments and as a bride adorneth herself with her jewels. That is the inner beauty of a woman. And in closing, I just want to say to all you godly men and women out there, I salute you. You are precious in the eyes of God. And my prayer is that God, that you will see yourself as God sees you and um, become the woman that he intended you to be. Amen. And um, I am going to close in prayer. And um, after this, I will, uh, we will end the message and then we will play play out with the song and I, I hope that you will stay on and just listen to the song because it will be dedicated will be de dedicated to you so let us just pray father lord we just thank you lord for your word my god thank you lord that your word sustains us father god Father, we pray your blessing over each and every person here, Father, who received your word, Father. Father, we pray that your word will bring change, that your word will restore and transform the lives of your people, Father, as their heart desires. And may it bring glory to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So I just want to thank you for um, taking this time to hear this message this morning and may you have a blessed woman's month further and uh, may God bless you um, and may, see, may his face shine upon you and may he give you peace in all of this um, and I want you to meditate on the scriptures and and um, the characteristics that of the, of the virtuous woman because this is what God wants us to be Amen and now um, I'm going to play out with a song and may you have a blessed day. Bye. Those hands are soft.
and gentle You're touching may be small Those strong and holding arms of all Catch victims when they fall The power of a woman Nothing can compare His strength is driving her to go Spread her wings, a dance.